Oh God. One of the most quirky, eccentric, and Nordic cities we've ever visited. The moment we arrived in Helsinki, we were engulfed by magnificent peace and quiet. Right when we got off the plane, it was super quiet. The most quiet I've ever heard in an airport ever. They have nature sounds playing above the toilets. People seem to keep to themselves out here. They're polite and private, and don't feel the need to fill moments of silence. They're on the fringes, not just geographically speaking, being one of the furthest countries to the north, but socially. Tattoos, piercing, sexual orientation, it's all gravy out here. But they're also quite serious and introverted. Why so serious? There's a tranquility and comfort walking these streets. And Finnish nationalism is real. There are flags lining most streets. But what about being the happiest country in the world? Is that a real thing? What about Bhutan? I thought they were the happiest. And Helsinki marks the launch point to our mission this summer, to make our way from the Baltic Sea all the way down to the Mediterranean in 60 days. I'm watching the most Finnish show you could ever watch. Moomin! <laughs> Geopolitically, Finland has always been a high interest country, desired above all else for its strategic geographic location. But we also want to know what's left to be desired of Helsinki, its capital, from a tourist standpoint. We came in with one idea, and by the time we left, had a completely different outlook on Finland that quite literally blew our hair back. Let's get into it, shall we? Ooh, take your breath away. If I could pick anywhere in the world to build a city, any geographic location, any environment, any ambiance to say, yes, this is my vibe. This is where I want to be. This is where I want to settle down. This definitely wouldn't be it. Walking in the winter wonderland. You see, I have rain odds, which means I've got a really strange relationship with the cold. I don't just shiver. My hands turn blue and then they go numb. I legally can't get cryotherapy. I want to get Wim Hof, but it ain't happening. <laughs> So the brutally cold winters of Finland and limited daylight probably ain't for me. It's so, it's so exhilarating. And the climate here is even harsher to the north. That's why about one-fifth of the population live in or around Helsinki to the south. Helsinki's population is around 1.3 million people, so roughly the same size of other global cities, like Prague, Kyoto, or San Diego. But guess what? We're here in the summer, so none of this applies now, right? And we're a bit jet lagged, oh but just one bite of their salty salmiaki <laughs> will set you right. Jesus Christ, that stuff is nasty. I have to say, I don't know if I'm a fan of this one. Salmiaki. <laughs> that is the nastiest candy I've ever tried in my entire life. This time of year, the sun sets at 10.30 p.m. and rises at 3 in the morning. So the days are very long, giving us more than ample daylight to make the most of our time here. We didn't know if this is legal, and now we just saw a dad and his kid doing it, so we should go to eat. Dude, this is the way to go. Here in Finland, we were told they really obey rules, so people like us are a little naughty, I think. Gotta catch me riding dirty. <laughs> right, yeah, right. <laughs> Take it wide. Oh, cute dog, cute dog. Oh, wow. Oh. All right, right now we're in hot pursuit <laughs> of a ginormous peeing man statue. After walking for hours, we've kind of realized that we're not really getting places very fast. Yeah. There he is. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> see his cheeks. Oh my god, he's oh. urinating. And his stream, wow. Oh. <laughs> that is a little bit creepy. Hey, you go up to it and you, you it's like a water fountain, you just... No, I don't even know. Sitting down now for some 
Lohikaito. <laughs> I think that's how you say it, roughly. Um, this is, I don't know if it's technically considered a national dish, but it's one of their most popular. And it's the salmon soup. From the looks alone, I'm obsessed with dill. And there's dill all over this yes. stuff. Potatoes, big chunks of salmon. Oh my It looks God. so good. Wow, it's creamy, salty, rich in flavor. Like this salmon's also so soft. Top three best soups I've ever had. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. All right, we're getting in line for this Finnish food that I've been looking forward to. It's kind of like a street food, I guess. I see a lot of stands for it. And uh, this lady looks, that's all she serves. So I'm like, that's probably a good choice. There's already a, a line of local people, so. This is the one. <laughs> Nathan's getting his dream. I think it's pronounced muiko or muiko, something like that. It's basically these fried fish. They fry them in like a lot of butter, but there's different topping options. I went with like a garlic sauce and onion combination. I'm gonna grab the first one here with my fingers. Go for it, dude. I mean, they're just perfectly fried and oh delicious. My God. <laughs> is it fishy? Not at all. Really? It's just like buttery, melts in your mouth. Bones and all, you don't taste the bones, it's just like everything's soft and then it has like a crispy outside because it is fried at the end of the day. It's really good. <laughs> well, it feels okay. Hey, man. And uh, right to our right here, we have a front <laughs> <laughs> here we go, the circuit. And if we continue onward, we're gonna see a nice little sauna action. There's some suits jumping from the ocean. So to be us, look, they're freezing their asses off, dude. Oh man, that sounds awesome. Nathan's already got his towel, I got dude. My towel, dude. We got a nice little restaurant here. I heard that the food's amazing. A little bit on the pricier side, but I heard it's great. Yeah, and you can also get drinks here. They just asked us if we want to open up a tab. We're like, hey, I don't know. Might just, have to do it. Might just have to do it. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to get changed. All right, I just got changed in my suit. And when you first walk out of the change room, there's showers. I do think we're supposed to rinse first. Maybe not, actually. Maybe this is just for after. So you got three saunas here already. You got one around that corner. Okay. One just right here. Uh -huh. One over there. And people that's where you go outside and jump in. And I asked him, he's like, you know, if you're bold enough, what he likes to do is jump in the water first. Oh yeah, that's a really good thing to say. Okay, Nathan's starting off. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. No way. Nathan, how is it? You can go slow. Yeah, this is this is out of our element here. Oh my god, it's so cold. My my brain on it. You're lucky it's not. Woo, yeah, there you go! That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> you take this and you go to smoke sauna, you put this in uh, water, and after one minute you take this and after Ooh, you slap yeah, it off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it have a smell as yeah, well? Yeah. Ah. And it's good for skin and uh, blood. Blood circulation. <laughs> This one is amazing. Oh, wow. She tips it in. Okay. It smells nice. Hi. These are our friends from Germany and our friends from Japan. This is my This right here. Oh, I just got hot. Oh, I can't. I will die. Can I do it to myself? Yeah. It's better if someone do it for you. Okay, this is Ask a friend, Nathan. <laughs> All right, let's have a the finish. Oh, yeah. Burton. 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 This is how you get abused in Finland. <laughs> Ooh, we're going to get it extra spicy, aren't we? Too much. <laughs> it's okay. He likes it spicy. 
Yeah, yeah, I think it's way too hot. Let's go. Right, you turn that towards. Yeah. And then you spin that. That's Cheers, right. guys. Oh my god. All right, quickly. Dude, that was so hot. Yeah. That one was way hotter than the other That's ones. Good. It's great. Yes. But this is, so this one's smoked. It's nice. That one's well, good. Well, it's nice until you're done. No. All right, Deutschland. It's really yeah. cold. Wo wo in Deutschland? Wo genau? Nuremberg. Nuremberg, schön. Yeah. So, woher? Oh mein Gott, ich glaube, ich, glaub, ich kann jetzt nicht. Ich war, ich war ein erster Schüler für ein Jahr. Oh, ja, super. Ja. Oh, super Deutsch. Nein. Oh, meine Güte. <lacht> oh. Okay, I was in. Fuck's sake. You die down there. Yeah. I don't know what you're, you're doing. Später. Yep. So cool, dude. Oh, God. No, but honestly, Your it's so exhilarating. It feels amazing. It's easier to get in again. It's way not as bad. Go into like your, go down to like your neck. No. <laughs> Okay, that's all I can do. <gasps> oh, oh. It's like pins and needles. Oh, this one. Oh, oh that's it. Oh, that was mild. That was mild. <laughs> Oh my god, yes, yes. The one we had at Supermore the other day was really good, but we were told that this place has some of the best in all of Helsinki. I'll say it was a little bit more expensive though, 23 euros, but let's give it a shot. Nathan's new favorite soup. It's like a heartwarming dish. It's a feel good dish. Oh my god, you know, it's just as good as the other place. It's 100% a feel good dish. And look at the vibe in here. We just ordered a Carta Mama Soma, Soma, I think, kind of, whatever. <laughs> now, these are super popular in Sweden. I think that's where they actually originated from. But basically, it's just a cardamom pastry. And they are so beautiful, handmade, covered in cardamom. But I can already tell, like, the dough quality. It's so freaking good. Dude, that's like a chai latte in a pastry. Taking a little cruise through Helsinki's archipelago. It's nice and sunny right now, but that might not last long. We're going in and out. When the sun's out, it's nice and pleasant. It's not, it's chilly, yeah? We just passed a bunch of beautiful summer homes. They have their own personal saunas right in front. They can hop into the ocean, get back into the sauna. <laughs> We have just landed on Somalina Sea Fortress. We took the ferry to get here. And it's basically eight islands, six of which are fortified. And just on first impressions alone, you can tell this place was created as a line of defense. You know, as a military safeguard. They're safeguarding this port, this area. And it had a lot of, I guess, strategic military significance. That's the extent of what I've learned so far. I know there's a lot more to it than that, but it's just a nice place to actually just walk around and and be outside and be outdoors. And there's a bunch of museums everywhere, different kinds. There's a submarine, there's a military museum. I also saw a lot of like bars and cafes and everything is just really green and tranquil. The birds are going crazy. We just got a little bit of like sprinkling of rain, but we're definitely learning the history between the Finnish people, the Swedes, and the Russians, y'all, because it was a little crazy here. Hey, what happened? <laughs> All right, we just made it to Cafe Regatta. They're known for the cinnamon buns. Snuck in a little blueberry pie with some, uh, some kind of whipped cream sauce. And Olivia wanted to go with the hot chocolate. You just can't go wrong, especially when there's this much whipped cream. I know, right? And then look at this view. I mean, you're right on the water. There's just people lounging out here, kayakers. It's busy. But this is what we came for. And that's the, the cinnamon roll. Yes, this is what they're famous for. It's supposedly the best in all of Helsinki. Mmm. Oh, it's so deli in the inside. I find the blueberry pie even more outstanding than the really? cinnamon roll. Yeah, it's just unique. 
I know people hate this word, but it's so moist. Don't do it. When I win a chicken dinner. All right, so Helsinki is much cooler than I expected. I did not expect to like it this much. We are here during the summertime, so it's like, I feel like the energy here is pretty electric because they have such harsh winters. So everybody's out. I mean, look, look at all these people running, biking. Dude, that guy's special forces right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. He looked pretty cool. He's a Nordic freaking beast. <laughs> But any like outdoor sport, we just saw a guy like doing this electric surf thing. People are out on jet skis, they're on the water on their boats. People are out and enjoying life. Yeah. Coffee's great, food's great, vibe like, is great. I There's a lot like to do. They live life here at a much more chill frequency. Yeah. And that relaxes you. It slows you down. Also, I noticed they're outside, like in nature, not really on their phones, being more present. Yeah, I feel like it's a great place if you want to go and also like have a different cultural experience and unwind and be yeah. more in touch with nature. Come to Helsinki, come to Finland. We'll have to come <laughs> back in the winter and check out the Lapland as well. Yes, but summer is where it's at in Helsinki. 10 out of 10. No more airplanes for us. This is like a cruise ship. It's huge. Ferries seem so dainty and small. A petite little ferry. No, this is a this is a big big bad boy. I get knocked down, but I get up again. <laughs> Why the Indian accent? I don't know, but I'm feeling it, dude. Feeling it. Sun's coming out. It's feeling better. Not freeze my ass off.